Good evening, everyone, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. In the beginning, God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, man, and female, he created them. So you were all made in the image of the most valuable thing in the universe, God who created it. <laughs> so God loves you and he treasures you. There is neither bond nor free, there is neither male or female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. God is still Lord and he is still on his throne and he has a plan for your life. Joseph was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Put in prison by his master's wife. But God pulled him out of that and put Joseph in the second most powerful position in the land. God called Joseph to save all of Egypt and his own family who sold him into slavery. What God did for Joseph, he can do for you and he can do for me. And what Joseph went through is very similar to what Jesus had to go through. In Philippians 2, 6 through 11. Let this be, uh, uh, let this mind be in you, which is in our Lord Christ Jesus. to be equal to God. But made himself of no reputation, 
and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Being, uh, being formed in the fashion as man, being humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Before God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every bow, every knee shall bow, and everything in heaven, and everything in earth, and everything under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess Jesus as Lord to the glory of God the Father. God, in the form of our Lord Jesus, lowered himself. He made himself of no reputation, and he took upon himself the form of a servant in the likeness of man. Judas sold Jesus to Rome and to death. But to the glory of God, it did not stop there. Our faith in Jesus is not in vain. Jesus conquered death and sits on the throne now. He offers us salvation from our sins. Also in Romans 8, 17. And if children, which we are children of God, then inheritors and inheritors of God, we are joint heirs with Christ. If so, that we suffer with him, that we may also glorify. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies and do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you. Who you're forced to call Lord today, tomorrow may we call them a brother in Jesus Christ. Amen. 
This is what the book of Philippians is all about. A man had to sell himself to slavery to pay off a debt. And he ran away from the person who paid his debt for him. While he ran away, he found Christ. And he, he was asked to uh, return in love. And in Philippians 1, 15 through 18. Oh, sorry, uh, Philemon. Philemon 1, 15 through 18, sorry. <laughs> Peace. Philippian, not Philippian, uh, Philemon, Philemon, it's the, has one chapter, sorry. <laughs> okay. For perhaps he therefore depart for a season. No, Philemon, Philemon 1, 15 through 18. It has one chapter in it, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I messed them around. Okay. For perhaps he departed for a season that thou shalt receive him forever. Not as a servant, but above a servant, as a brother loved. Especially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in flesh and in our Lord. But thou count me therefore a partner, and receive him as me. If he hath wronged thee, or owe thee aught, part it unto my account. This is exactly what Jesus does for us. We are sinners, we are debtors, and we are rebels. But Jesus says, you owe God, but account it onto my account. Jesus pays our debts and makes us right before God. We become joint heirs with the person who created the universe. I ask you all to look at the stars above you. Jesus hanged all of them in the heavens. Amen. 
And he says he's a joint heir. You're a joint heir with him. So I'll leave you with Psalms 133. Yes. Uh, uh, no, 133. 133. Yeah. Okay. Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like precious ointment upon the head. That runs down upon the beard. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirt of his garments. As the dew of Hormon, and as the dew that descend upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord command the blessing. Even life forevermore. Remember, there is not bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. So dwell together in unity and in brotherly love. I have been blessed to fellowship with you this evening. My prayer is for the church of the world to dwell in unity. So we can receive the blessing of Jesus Christ. Everything good?